My exes describe our relationship. So we met at... One of my music video shoots. We took an acting class together. We met at a mutual friend's birthday party. My type is... Funny guys. Or fuck boys. Assholes. The bad boy type, someone to match the sensitive savage. Sensitive savage? Yeah, she wants to be tough, but we all know she just wants a hug. He was attracted to my... She just seemed like easy to talk to, so I walked up to her. She was hilarious. I liked her, her energy. She had a good sense of humor. And I was attracted to his... She liked that I was a rapper. His confidence. The sex. I think she thought this. I was hilarious, I hope. I'm funnier than him. He was like sweet. He thought my best physical feature was... Her eyes or her smile. Her nose. She had really soft skin. And I really liked his... The list is so long. JK. Probably my smile. My muscles? My eyes. Who made the first move? I made the first move. She would never do that. I did. I made the first move. Just walked up and said hi. We were actually in the car. I leaned over and I did what I had. I, I kissed her. <laughs> I approached her and I think I said a corny pickup line. What's your favorite number? She said, um, seven. I said, no. So here's my number. <laughs> His first impression of me. She's funny. She like talks to herself for a brief moment and I just get a kick out of that every time. First I was like, wow, she's really pretty. And then I was like, wow, she's hilarious. She was a little bit weird, but I liked it. Our first date was. She might kill me because I don't think I remember. We were going to the movies. Well, she was going to the movies and I think her date stood her up and I was there. I think we Netflix and chilled the first time I seen her. We went to um, an Argentinian restaurant. She tried to put on Bojack Horseman. She loved the empanadas. I couldn't get it. Our first kiss was in her car. At the end of the first night we met. I was leaning in for the kiss and I peeked when her eyes were closed and she was like, and that's when I knew I was into her. She hates when I tell that story. <laughs> he thought my best personality trait was... She has many characters, and they're all fun. She's hilarious. She could take a joke. She got a good sense of humor. And I really liked his... My bluntness. Now I'm hilarious. The sex. He was funny. I thought he looked like... She liked to say I look like Michael B. Jordan, and I'm sticking with it. A scruffy puppy. She told me I look like a sexy Spanish leprechaun. Yeah, I kind of see it. <laughs> he thought I looked like, better be good. I don't think she looked like anybody, but a lot of people say she looks like one of the Kardashians, so I'm gonna just say that just to piss her off. Kim Kardashian, kinda. Oh, for sure, she looks like Princess Jasmine. We bonded most over. We love watching movies together. We went to a lot of improv and uh, stand-up shows together. We bonded over hookah all the time. We smoked a lot of hookah. We loved to... We loved to eat together. We loved to dance, go out. Uh, go out to comedy shows. We love to just go out, light a hookah, chill. We're romantic, you know, I pass her the hookah, she passes back. It was like a whole love movie. Who paid on dates? I mean, I did for, for a while, and then as we bonded, it was a 50-50. Me, usually. Sometimes I'd ask her to pay just to make sure she has some money on her, but most of the time I pay. I introduced him to. She taught me how to be comfortable with my own skin and not really care about what people think. Armenian food. She had me listen to some old school R&B that I really like. Why you gotta act like that? We just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he introduced me to. Dope ass music. The club. I used to be a club promoter. Cat Dahlia. How to be a thug. Georgia Smith. How to be street smart. St. John. Not take shit from nobody. That's something that she definitely got from me. The best picture of us. Am I allowed to say we were high or no? <laughs> Did we say I love you? She said it first and it was when we were making love. I said it like 30 seconds after. My car broke down and uh, it was like the middle of the night and we were just you know, out waiting for help and I was really stressing out. She said, I love you. And it really made it feel like we were there for each other. She made a hookah for me and then I just looked in her eyes and I told her and then she said it back. The holidays we spent together were... New Year's Eve and Christmas. Thanksgiving. Christmas and Valentine's Day together. I got him. She got me this watch. The Air Force Ones. Hookah. And he got me... A bunch of clothes. A lot of clothes. Makeup. So many shoes. Shiny stuff. I got her a purse. Jewelry. She didn't like it. <laughs> For Valentine's Day, we... Went to an Argentinian restaurant, our favorite one. That's where we went on our first date. Eating. Movies and dinner. Our go-to date restaurant was... Drake's. 
Texas Longhorns. El Tango Argentina Grill in Englewood, New Jersey. <laughs> Our song was... I'm gonna say Earned It by The Weeknd. She loved that song. Uh, I don't know what the name is. Just when I heard it, like I was like, this is the song we getting married to. Obviously, that didn't work out. 21 Questions by 50 Cent. My neck, my back. Mob, and she loved that that song. We saw the movie. The Avengers together. Get out. The Grinch stole Christmas. It was great, from what I remember. We went to. We used to come to New York a lot. Um, obviously, Cali. Miami. We were in Cancun. We got really drunk every day. We loved to. Just chill. Go to comedy shows. We loved to smoke hookah. <laughs> <laughs> we loved to watch. Power. In the office. Friends. Sometimes, I think. Our sex life was... Awesome. Lit. In the morning, I would always... Steal the blankets. <laughs> Sing. A lot. Loud. I would FaceTime her to make sure she wasn't dreaming about no other dudes. In the morning, he would... Wake up first. I'd wake her up. Hit snooze. A lot. He would call me... Booty. <laughs> Chad. So she would act like this, this frat boy a lot. Uh, I just started calling her Chad. I just called her Bay. I would call him. The same thing in return. We were both booty heads. She like had this thing, we were the butts. Um, she would call me Papi Chulo, she called me Handsome. David Beckham once in a while, cause I used to be in shape. He thought my friends were. I like her friends. <laughs> Annoying. Her friends were all crazy. They had a group chat and they talked shit about me all day. And I thought his friends were. She don't like my friends at all. <laughs> that they were fuck boys. boys. It's true though. They kind of were. When we hang out with my friends. She was always the same, no matter what the circumstances were. She was extra. She was the life of the party most of the time. When we'd hang out with his friends. The same, she never switched it up. A lot less extra. She would be a little bit attention craving. We communicated most often via. My phone. When I was first talking to her, it was on Twitter. Twitter. And now it's on Instagram. Facebook. FaceTime. MySpace. Text. P.O. Box. Smoke, she was crazy. Our favorite social media? Instagram. Big Instagram fan. Facebook is funny. There's always drama there. Get your popcorn. The best thing he did for me? I always put her first. I hyped her up to everybody. She was one of the funniest women that I know. I told her she was beautiful every single morning, even when she was looking kind of crazy. And the best thing I did for him? She always took my feelings into consideration. She was my biggest hype man. Hookah for breakfast. You guys never had hookah and cornflakes? We like to dance to... Anything ratchet. Hip hop. We would be Millie rocking and we'd be like... Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was definitely some, some rap or hip hop. I'm really good at... Making people laugh. Dancing. Investigating my friends' Instagrams to find where I'm at. Funny voices and my hot tea. I could be better at... Being on time. Singing. Not being so crazy. Taking less time to get ready. My favorite celebrity is... Brianna. Kate McKinnon. Brianna, Michael B. Jordan, J. Cole, and Shia LaBeouf. My favorite musician is... Rihanna. Cardi B. Rihanna. Savage. <laughs> My favorite food was... She loved crab fries. Pizza. Pasta. Pasta or like crab legs. My favorite movie is... The Godfather or Finding Nemo. One of those two. Finding Nemo. I have no idea. Scarface, Hercules, Finding Nemo, Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. My favorite sports team is... She's just gonna say the Eagles. I don't, she don't watch sports. The Eagles. Shit. Eagles, because I'm from Philly. He knew I love to travel to... New York? An island. I, I don't know which island specifically. It was an island, though. My house. <laughs> Anywhere that there's an island. He knows I'm really proud of my... Her progress. She's chasing her dreams, even though her family didn't want her to, and she's doing really well. She's really proud of how funny she is. I'm proud of my growth as a person since I've been with all of them. <laughs> he knows I hate. When her parents get on her about anything. Fuck boys, yes, just like my friends. When I make fun of her too much, because I would be joking all the time, so that would really piss her off. Liars. My favorite restaurant is... I don't know what her favorite restaurant would be, but we always went to drinks together, so that was our restaurant. Domino's. El Tango Argentina Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who has spaghetti or pizza? My favorite ice cream flavor is... Shit. Vanilla? Vanilla. No, it's chocolate. Or cookies and cream, actually. Chunky monkey. Chunky what? Monkey? <laughs> oh, wow. That's off.
<laughs> my greatest skill is... Her, like, drive. Like, if she says she gonna do it, she gonna do it. Acting. She thinks really fast. You make a joke on her, she gonna have a joke for you right back. I know how to make people feel comfortable. Unless you guys are uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm kidding. I always wanted to buy... A mansion? What, whatever girls want. Shoes, the Balenciagas. I don't know. I'll know I've made it when I have a shoulder monkey named Peebo. It's my dream. Something I always say is... Are you gonna finish that? <laughs> Just be yourself. Yeah, she'd be like, oh, oh wow. wow, wow. All the time. Oh, wow. <laughs> my favorite hobby is... I don't wanna call it a hobby, but I guess acting. <laughs> I'll go like go-karting. Smoking weed. Laser tag. Definitely being a psycho ex-girlfriend. Oh, gun range or like paint and sip. Oh, karaoke, I love karaoke. I have a talent for... Making people laugh. Smoking weed, she's really good at it. Comedy. Making people laugh and cry. <laughs> My life goals are... Being paid to make people laugh. To be one of the funniest and most talented female uh, actresses. Definitely to be like a, an actress, comedian, for sure. Retire as a successful entertainer and teach kids theater and other arts with my monkey people. My biggest pet peeve is... Slow drivers? I know that's wrong. <laughs> Fuck boys. Probably when I be farting sometimes because my shit be stinking. <laughs> I hate gassiness. Who takes longer to get ready? Her. Easy two hours. Me. <laughs> it should always take at least an hour and a half. She'll play the whole Britney Spears album three times. One word that best describes me is... Adventures. Goofy. Wild. Unforgettable. Who's a better driver? Me. Her. Me. Who's more likely to win an argument? Me. Her. Me. Thousand percent. My most used emoji is... The eye roll one, when it's like... Like that. Uh, there's this really weird red emoji. It's like a, it's like a red mask with a, with a nose. It's really weird, she uses it all the time. I don't get it. The yellow heart. It's either the crying one or that red mask face who's like <laughs> He just describes my mood all the time. <laughs> we dated for? Oh, like three years on and off. Uh, about two years. I think it was like a little bit under a year. We broke up because? I told a few lies. Secrets. That I'm not gonna be doing stupid stuff with my friends. And I did them anyway. Lies. <laughs> I started going out with my friends a lot. She didn't really like that. And we all started arguing about a lot of the just little things and kind of just, you know, fizzled off. It was easy to be friends because we grew apart. We broke up because it was, you know, we just had life taking us in separate directions and we just, we figured out that we weren't being 100% honest with each other and it was better if we were apart. Secrets and lies. <laughs> My worst habit was... Being late. She smoked. She liked other guys' pictures on Instagram. I hated that. I bottle up my feelings sometimes and then don't properly communicate and expect them to know what's wrong. <laughs> and his worst habit was... I wasn't 100% honest. Choosing to hang out with my friends instead of her. I was always texting my ex-girlfriend. They're all gassy. He hated my... I didn't hate anything about her though. Not, at least not that I can think of right now. Her friends. It was just annoying. She would never show her emotions and she bundled it up until she like explode and then we had an argument. And I hated his. That was a know-it-all. She just, she hated all of my friends. That I was always playing around so much and it would, um, I never took anything seriously. The worst thing he did to me was. I lied. Lied to my face. I called her a bitch. That's too much. <laughs> I was texting my ex-girlfriend while see, we were cuddling. Still talking to his ex. And the worst thing I did to him was... She just always assumed that I was up to something when I wasn't. We were in a fight one time. I came home and I caught her with another guy smoking my hookah. Not tell her parents about me when we were dating in the beginning. One time I got somebody's number in front of Swish, but it wasn't like that. Were we in love? Yeah, we were in love. Yeah, we were in love. You can say that. I think. Swish and Tony. We always fought about... We always uh, fought about my friend. She didn't like my me choosing to hang out with my friends instead of her. Stupid Instagram, girls commenting on my pictures, guys commenting on her pictures. It was dumb, but we'd always fight about that. I got over the breakup after. She's still getting over it. I don't know. I, I just, soon? I don't know. She still loves me. He got over the breakup after. Like five months. I didn't get over it. Oh no, I was over it one week later. How did things end? It ended badly at first, a lot of tears. 
and we were like butting heads, like arguing a lot after. It took a lot for us to become cool. We just became like friends again. I don't know. It's weird. We just kind of grew apart. We figured out that we weren't being 100% honest with each other. And we felt like, you know, it was better off that we were friends. I didn't really trust what he was telling me. So I, I kind of just let it go. I wasn't mad, but I let it go. We just talked it out and just decided that it wasn't really working right now. It just also sucked after a while to have to be alone <laughs> again. <laughs> That's why I'm proud of my growth, you know? I'm like, look, I can walk by myself. No one holding my hand. <laughs> I'm proud of me. <laughs> Would we date again? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure the chemistry's still there. Maybe. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are we still on good terms? I like to think so. Yeah. Oh no, we're on great terms. We have a great friendly relationship. Yeah, I, I love all of them. <laughs> we stayed friends because... It started as a friendship and it ended as a friendship. So I'm good with that. Uh, we, we still have a lot in common. Uh, we still share a lot of the same interests, find a lot of the same things funny. So it's, it's really hard to not be friends with somebody like that. We stay friends because we just always had a good connection. We just couldn't keep it on an intimate basis. He would say he misses my... Personality. No, kind of self-conscious about it. But I, you know, I like it, I like it a lot. I just miss having a girl that I could, um act like she's a guy sometimes. She could take a joke, we could make fun of each other, and that was real fun. And I would say I miss his... Sense of humor. I'm a good time. I think she might miss having fun. The sex. <laughs> okay. The best memory of our relationship was... One time we took this spontaneous trip to Cali. LA together, that was fun. Loved it. We did improv together and it just went really well. Like we just matched each other's chemistry really well. It turned out to be like one of our, you know, our best shows. Like just rehearsing our stuff together and like improv together, <laughs> it was fun. That's where we kind of first bonded. There was this one time we were both really high and she put sour worms on her pizza. It was intense. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time, but I would never do it again. It's kind of like a me and her type of thing. Smoking hookah. He was like a fun drink buddy. It would be fun to get drunk with him. The best thing to come out of our relationship was... I like to think that I became more humble ever since our breakup, so that's a good thing. I made a really good friend. I learned how to take a joke because she was really good at telling jokes also. I think he would tell my future boyfriends... Good luck. <laughs> like I said, a lot of personalities, so you got to be able to, to laugh with her. Give her back. She's a ride or die. She's she a little bit crazy sometimes, but she a real one. What am I looking for? Someone to understand her and accept her. Somebody that's fun, but still, you know, pushes her in what she does. She definitely needs a thick-skinned boyfriend who's about six foot two and plays in the NBA, LeBron James. Someone that's gonna lead with integrity. You know what I mean? 